I really just like love baking and so when I'm here by myself before anybody else I feel like I like it feels like it's just more like for myself than for work. Baking was always the thing that I did for like relaxation and it still is but like that time like alone is like still like super meditative. I started Goldenrod Pastries about five years ago and I started it as a blog um, because I was starting to learn how to bake for myself dairy free. I've been in the industry for like 17 years and I just needed to learn a new way to bake for myself. I shared my blog publicly for the first time in May or April 2014 and then I opened in May 2015. Angela chose the name Goldenrod Pastries after Nebraska's state flower, the Goldenrod. The store is run by a team of 10 women, including herself, that focus largely on catering to dairy-free, gluten-free, and vegan diets. When I started Goldenrod, and even up until recently, we were using the words like dietary restrictions, and I think that that has like a very negative connotation. When like at the end of the day, like I got into this industry and I bake because I want to make things that pe make people happy, and I want to be inclusive. Goldenrod social media is a huge part of bringing her customers together. Angela said Goldenrod social media helps make the store more approachable. Goldenrod also works to support the community through different campaigns such as Empower Through Flower and has received attention from magazines like Forbes, Martha Stewart, and Food and Wine. The world is a very divided place and there are a lot of exclusive things that are happening and like food should be the one thing that like brings us together. <laughs> Nebraska is really special in the sense that like the communities are really strong and you can really build a business and do what you want to do here.